Hello and thanks for meeting us. Uh, first, I want to ask you, do you remember 21st November 2013? Yes, uh, I would say it was a huge uh, tragedy, uh, not only for the company, but for whole Latvia society. Uh, a lot of people has been suffered and died. And uh, I would say that uh, 21st of November will be always the day uh, for us to remember uh, the tragedy, the people who have suffered, uh, the people who has been lost. And it will always be for us a day for a grief. And, uh, uh, and we have as a company with the deep sadness uh, that we have not been able to prevent what has happened. And it will always be a day for us uh, to remember this tragic. Did you work that time in the Maximo group? Uh, no, uh, I have not been uh, in the c within the company at that time. Uh, however, personally, I still remember uh, that day by myself as well. You were not in Latvia in that time? Uh, at that time, I was in Lef living in Lithuania. Uh, so, however, uh, I remember that it was a lot of on the news as well, information. And uh, I remember that it was also a shock for, for me personally as well. As you present the group now, what the group now think about the tragedy since 10 years apart now? What are the main lessons learned? I think that it has a, mm, that this is a big, uh, terrible tragedy what happened. Uh, we as a company uh, was not able to uh, to act at the beginning properly. Uh, we have as a company was not ready for this tragedy. Uh, and as a company, we should be ready at that moment. So uh, with the collapse of the store roof, uh, our colleagues has died, our customers has died, uh, a lot of people has been suffered. So we feel more of responsibility what has happened and uh, we cannot come back uh, or change what has happened at the same time we really feel more of responsibility of this tragedy one of the first questions asked was uh, why people weren't evacuated when there was an alarm uh, i would say that uh, mm, a, a fire alarm uh, was uh, was not anyhow related with the roof collapse. Also, afterwards, the expertise also showed that it was uh, not related. And uh, at the same time, uh, we still feel moral responsibility that uh, a newly built store, which was uh, checked by the experts, uh, could uh, lead to such a tragedy. So the building was newly built, it was uh, checked by the experts uh, and due to mistake of the calculation of the construction, uh, such tragedy can happen for newly built store. So. But has there been any changes uh, like in work safety politics, maybe now you would evacuate people in that case? I would say overall, uh, a lot of changes has been happening not only in the company, uh, but overall in the regulation uh, in the country itself. So we have adjusted our uh, also internal processes, how we act in uh, emergency situation, uh, how we act uh, in, uh, uh, in fire uh, alarm processes. Uh, so uh, right now we are on yearly basis also training our uh, colleagues how to act in emergency situations. So you would be sure if there would be a signalization everyone would go out, leave the store? Uh, 
Uh, right now, according to the processes, uh, how we uh, act in emergency situation, at the event of the uh, fire alarm, all the buildings should be evacuated. When this happened, some people boycotted Maxim then just didn't go shopping there. Did you feel the impact back then? I would say it was felt uh, and uh, uh, it was felt uh, at the same time. I think that uh, at that moment the biggest focus was really on uh, consequences uh, of the tragedy. So we tried at that moment uh, uh, to support uh, and uh, actively communicated with the representatives of the victims. And at that moment was a big focus, uh, not about uh, uh, the boycott itself, but to, at that moment to, uh, to solve this, uh, the tragedy consequences what we had. And uh, when did that change? How did you got your customers back? I would say that uh, overall uh, maybe it's not an occasion to talk about some uh, financial impacts or something. At the same time I think that we are till now earning the trust of our customers, uh, earning the trust of overall Latvian society and uh, and doing uh, the best in order to, to change our processes and the way how we work to gain, regain the trust that we have lost. And we also do know that Maxima is the one who gave the compensations to victims and their families as a good gesture. Was it um, just a good gesture or maybe an attempt to silence as people needed to withdraw their claims in the court? So the tragedy happened in our store and our colleagues and customers suffered. So uh, we felt moral responsibility of the tragedy. We cannot uh, come back the people or bring them back uh, or those who has lost. Uh, at the same time we tried at least a little bit to make uh, life easier for the people who has suffered for the families who has lost their relatives and uh, by providing a support we tried a little bit to make their life easier uh, and uh, the support uh, was anyhow related with the court verdicts or the processes we did it uh, uh, but people needed to say we will not go to court against maximum if we take the money uh, I would say that it was anyhow related with the court procedures uh, at all. Uh, we have been uh, uh, providing a support uh, at the from the beginning of the tragedy for those people who has immediately need the help uh, and uh, try to support at least to make a little bit life of them easier. And uh, how much money together was spent on that? Uh, so for the support uh, we uh, dedicated 9 million euro, at the same time uh, I would say uh, money cannot still relieve the pain and it is at least um, a support to make a bit of life easier for the victims. Um, also we do know that there is one cashier, his name is Martic. Uh, um, you took like a good will and took him back in the work after the tragedy. Is he the only one still working in Maxima from that time or maybe there are many employees like him? Uh, we have provided uh, opportunity for all the colleagues who have suffered the tragedy to stay within the company. Uh, if they find a position or the role that they would like to do, so all of them has opportunity to stay within the company. Do you know how many stayed still? So today, uh, today we have uh, more than 20 colleagues who are still within the company. And Martin is also uh, together with us, he is also working in Maximum. 
Also, there has been finished two courts in Latvia, first court and appeal, second court, which decision was that there is only one person to blame on this tragedy, and that is civil engineer, Ivar Sergets, which means Maxima is not guilty. What are your thoughts on that, and did you wait the result like that? I would say that nobody, uh, including us, cannot predict uh, or uh, that such tragedy can happen. Uh, newly built store uh, was also inspected by the professionals, by the experts. Um, due to mistake in the calculation of the construction could collapse. So uh, we respect uh, I would say the verdict of the court. At the same time, um, we always felt and always will feel moral responsibility of the tragedy, what has happened. And um, since, since in the store, our people has, uh, has uh, uh, our customers and colleagues has suffered. And uh, it was a huge wake up call, I would say, overall. Uh, in terms of the, um, that you cannot be sure probably that newly built store is safe for everyone. But uh, looking back at the court process, do you think there is justice? It is what it is? Uh, I would say that uh, we respect court decision. At the same time, we always feel moral responsibility of the tragedy. I think that's all. Do you have something to add? I didn't ask, maybe? I would say that we covered everything. So thank you very much for your time. Thank you.